Hello Gillsborough and welcome to another Friday Celebration Worship Assembly. Now we're in our second week of lockdown and our remote learning and I know you've all been doing a wonderful job. The candle is lit so we know that Jesus is the light of the world and is all around us. Now our value this half term is perseverance as you know from last week's assembly. Now I know that lots of you have been persevering throughout this week and last week with your remote learning, your learning at home, the learning that you've been doing at school and I'm really really proud of you. Also our teachers have been persevering and all of the staff at Gillsborough have been persevering with the new changes to try and help and support you as much as possible. So I'm going to start this assembly by showing you our Gillsborough Gallery. Now the teachers have chosen lots of work that you have been uploading on your computer or you've been doing at school and I am really proud of what's happening. I hope you're enjoying your live lessons, you're producing some super work, so have a good look at all of the different things you've been doing this week. I'm sure you'll agree, some brilliant work in our Gillsborough Gallery today. I know you've been working really hard. I've seen work on diary extracts, on science work, history, geography. I've seen some brilliant maths work. So well done, everybody. Keep submitting it. And remember, our Gillsborough Gallery is to be done every week. So look out for your work as well. Okay, I'm going to read you a story now. It's a Bible story and it's called Down by the River. I want you to listen very carefully because it's about starting afresh, not worrying about the past and things that you've done that you regret maybe. Starting afresh. Every day is a new day. So listen very carefully. Down by the River. There was a big crowd down by the Jordan River. What was happening? Something exciting. The children wriggled to the front to see. But all they saw was a man talking, a very strange man. He wore a 
thick hairy clothes with a belt round his middle. That's John, one of the grown-ups said, Zachariah and Elizabeth's boy. He came from the desert. He lives there now. It's a lonely, scary place and there's not much food to, to eat. Apparently, he eats insects like grasshoppers called locusts and honey from wild bees. John was speaking loud and fierce. Make way, make way for God's promised king. He is coming soon, so get ready. <gasps> what must we do? You must stop being greedy, John said, and share. Stop doing bad things. God has told us the best way to live, so, does, so do as he says. Then you'll be ready for the king. The grown-ups all looked ashamed. We have been greedy and done bad things, but we're sorry, really, truly sorry. Then follow me, John said, and he walked right into the river. One by one, the people followed him into the water. They wanted to get rid of all the bad things they had done. God knows that you are really sorry, John said. He has forgiven you and washed you clean inside and out. Go home now and live as God wants. Then you will be ready for God's king. At last, everyone had been into the water. But who was this coming? It was Jesus. He stepped into the water. You've done nothing wrong, John said to him. You should be washing me. But Jesus said, we must do all that God wants us to do. As Jesus came out of the river, John heard God say, this is my son. I love him and I am pleased with him. Okay, it's now time for our reflection. And Katie is going to say a prayer. If you would like to make this your prayer, then say Amen at the end. Thank you, Katie. Lord Jesus, make us more like your disciple Barnabas. Help us to use our eyes to notice, use our ears to listen, use our voice to encourage and use our hands to help. Amen. Thank you, Katie. You're right. We do need to use our eyes and our ears and our mouths to communicate and see everybody around us to help them. OK, we've come to the end of our assembly today and we're going to finish off with Reverend Nat, who has got a brilliant song that I want you to all join in with. If you're in a large group, then don't sing, do the actions. If you're at home, do the actions and sing as loud as you like. It's called Be Strong. OK, I'd like to say have a lovely weekend. Stay safe and the Lord be with you. I'll see you next week. Take care, everybody. Amen. So we need to find some space now as we sing our worship song together. Now, for those of you in school, obviously, no singing, but you can do the actions. And if you're at home, find some space and join in too to the song, Be Bold, Be Strong. <laughs>